The great thing about this pizza is even though it's paleo and even though it's gluten free and it's dairy free and all those bandwagony things that you're probably tuning out to right now thinking, oh, but it tastes like cardboard. It doesn't. It tastes amazing and it's also super, super easy to make. So in 2007, I was diagnosed with a medical condition called polycystic ovarian syndrome. I was categorically told by two different doctors I was either not ovulating or any egg I did produce would be too old to be fertilised and I would need fertility treatment. I just became hell-bent on finding out as much as I could about this condition. So I did loads of research and it turned out that by reducing sugars should lead in most cases to massive improvement in symptoms. And within 18 months of coming away from refined sugars and processed carbs, I fell pregnant completely naturally and we weren't even trying basically. Three lovely children, Polly, who is nearly nine, Clara, who's six, and Freddie, who is four. Freddie is a lovely, sensitive little soul. Clara is just one of those kids that just gets on with it. I've got lovely Polly, who's nearly nine. Very inquisitive. She's very creative, especially in the kitchen. She loves to bake, she loves to cook. And Polly, in 2012, she was diagnosed with um, a long list of allergies. Her biggest offender allergy-wise was corn. It turned out that corn derivatives are in so many processed foods, it's actually mind-boggling. We also had to exclude dairy. At one point, we had to also exclude eggs. We decided, let's do it, let's go paleo, which basically cuts out all grains and it means being really strict on refined sugar. So, although it was hard at first, I think it just made me more enthusiastic to become a better cook. I adapted a lot of our like winning family recipes so we could still eat them being paleo. So the pizza that I'm cooking today has got a coconut flour and arrowroot base. One part coconut flour to three parts arrowroot perfect crispness, it's the perfect density for a flatbread. And then the wet mixture consists of egg and then I heat up some kind of fat. So when I cook a roast meat, I keep the dripping. Really healthy for you, it's got lots of good fats in it. Mixed with a bit of cider vinegar and a little bit of water. You could use olive oil, you could use coconut oil instead, you could use melted butter and then a little bit of sea salt and dried herbs. You know, classic. You mix your wet bowl into your dry bowl and you form a dough. And then press it out onto a pan. And then we cook the base for about 10 minutes. And then we put the tomato puree or just use we just use organic tomato puree because we see nice and easy for the kids. And then whatever toppings everybody wants on the top. Polly is really adventurous and she'll generally try a little bit of everything. Literally to the point where the pizza's like, <laughs> you know, doesn't have room for any more toppings because she wants everything on there. Clara likes margarita only, so she'll literally just have the tomato puree and then cheese on the top. Freddie will only really have the base. I like mushrooms, onions, chorizo, organic cheddar, and then I like Comte cheese. And then they go back in the oven for about another five minutes. Somebody says to me, you know, tell us about food. I just literally say to them, food is everything for us. To have a family meal time is it's quite a big deal for us. We only usually manage it once at the weekend. So if you have a meal where they get to help prepare it themselves and choose what they're actually gonna eat, I think they really like that. Because it's a winning recipe, everybody always loves it and there's nothing nicer than serving up food to people that enjoy it. I think my approach to food is really, really laid back and really inclusive. I get asked sometimes for advice on oh you know how do you think I can make my lifestyle a bit healthier and top of the list is to be a good cook you need amazing ingredients. I just love for them to make healthy choices and good choices. If you adopt a healthy attitude with food now 
that's going to stay with you for the rest of your life.